Welcome to Underwood Family Farms. We're so happy to have you here with our virtual animal show. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about what animals we have here on the farm and why farmers like them. One of the things that farmers do every day is we collect our eggs. And where do we find eggs? In the chicken coop. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we've got some eggs, which we do. Here I have two eggs. Are they the same color? No. One is brownish color, the other is white. One is laid by a Rhode Island Red, the other is laid by a White Leghorn. The breeds of chicken that lay the eggs lay different colors. Same nutritional value. A pink egg and a white egg, a brown egg, a green egg, they're all same nutritional value, just laid by a different breed of chicken. It takes 21 days for a chicken egg to hatch. Who all has 21 days to sit and watch these eggs hatch? I don't, but we have a magic chicken coop. So let's put these eggs back into our magic chicken coop. I'm gonna place these inside, and on the count of three, we're gonna see if our magic chicken coop does its job. Ready, count with me. One, two, three. Let's hope. And it did, it worked. Come on up, Reba, this is Reba. She is our bantam leghorn, and she is full grown. Chickens come in three different sizes. They come in our bantams, which is like the chihuahua of the chicken world. They come in a standard size, which is like your Labrador Retriever. And then we have the heavyweights, which are like a Great Dane or a Mastiff. So bantams, they lay eggs just like regular chickens. They're just a little bit smaller. So the size of our egg also depends on the size of our chicken. Now chickens are really smart. They can't fly but they are very, very good jumpers. One of the things that they love is mealworms. It's like candy to chickens. So in order for me to show you how Reba flies, we're gonna go ahead and shake some of her favorite treats and see if she'll come on over. Good girl. All right, do you think you can, she can go a little bit further? Let's see. Come on, Reba. Show them what a great jumper you are. Good girl. One more time. All right, come on over. Reba, come on over. So some of the parts of the chicken that are really interesting is everybody wants to know what this is on top of their head. No, it's not a mohawk but it's actually called a comb. There are several different styles of combs and they also have a waddle here underneath. And this is Reba. So everybody say goodbye to Reba. So our next animal is Brooklyn. She's our baby Nigerian dwarf goat. Now she actually takes a bottle because her mom was ill after she was born. So don't worry, she's all happy and healthy right now. But Brooklyn here needs a bottle three times a day since her mom can't feed her. So what we do is we use just a normal baby bottle and regular vitamin D whole cow's milk. Now goats are really smart. They can be trained just like a dog. Brooklyn is actually potty trained. So she can actually go outside and on cue, go to the bathroom after she's had her bottle. Also, farmers love goats because they provide us milk. With that milk, we can make cheese, yogurt, ice cream, as well as lotions and soaps for our skin. You can see she's wagging her tail just like a dog as well. That means she's super happy. That's how we tell if goats are happy or not. Goats eat really fast. Their eyes are on the side. And everybody repeat after me. Eyes on the side are meant to hide. Eyes in the front are meant to hunt. 
She also has pupils that are shaped like rectangles. Those rectangles allow her to see 360 degrees around her body. So if a predator tries to approach her, she's able to see those and to run away. But because they have lots of predators, she has to eat really fast. What she does is she'll gobble up her food, then she'll go back, find a safe place and hide, and she'll actually regurgitate her food, chew it later, we call that chewing the cud. Goats have one stomach, but four compartments. We call those ruminants. All right, everybody say goodbye to Brooklyn. Come on, love. So our next animal, he's a bit of a stage hog. We like to say he's a ham, and his name is Jameson. He is our farm pig. And so on the count of three, if you guys could help me bring him out on stage and shout Jameson, we'll get him on out. Ready? One, two, three. Jameson! Come on out! He's a bit slow. Here he is! This is Jameson, and he is our Vietnamese pot belly pig. So do you think he's a little pig or a big pig? No, he's actually little. Most farm pigs are about 800 to 1,000 pounds. Jameson weighs 214. So he's considered a really small pig. Pigs are extremely smart. They can do any trick that your dog can do. So let's see, what's the first trick you train your dog? Is how to sit, right? So can you sit, Jameson? Sit down all the way all right that's a good boy okay now pigs do you think that they like to roll in the mud just to get dirty no actually pigs can't sweat they do not have sweat glands like us so what they do is they roll in the mud and that cools them off also, you can see their skins exposed through their boar bristles. They can get sunburned really easily. Well, since he can't go to the store and get sunscreen, he also rolls in the mud to protect his skin from the sun so he doesn't get a sunburn. Now, the fun fact about Jameson, he doesn't like the water and he doesn't like mud. So here at the farm, we spray him with sunscreen and we cool him down with a little bit of water. Now, do you think that pigs are good jumpers? Jameson, can you show everybody back home? Are we a good jumper? Mm, no, I told you he was smart. He works smarter, not harder. Right, Jameson? Yeah. Now, another trick that you train your dog is how to roll over. So, let's show him how you roll over, Jameson. Can you roll over? What about the other way? Good boy. Now, Jameson can't really roll over like a regular dog. He'd get stuck upside down, right? He's got those little legs and a big body. Now, pigs also, because they're in the mud, they have split toes. Can you show everybody at home those cute toes, Jameson? Good job. So since they're split, they help him from slipping in the mud. Now, Jameson, you would think that he would eat a lot, right? Because we say pigs eat a lot. Well, this is how much food he gets per day. It's important not to overfeed your pig because if they get overweight, it can cause problems with their feet and so forth. So they're actually don't eat as much as most people think. So everybody, can you say goodbye, Jameson? Say, hope we get to see you soon. Our next animal that we're bringing out is not our typical farm animal that you normally see, but farmers do raise them, and they raise them specifically for their fiber. Now this is Billy. He is our Surrey alpaca. Alpacas come in two different varieties, a wakaya, which has more fluffy teddy bear hair, and a Surrey, which is like Billy here, who has dreadlock fiber. Now alpacas, they are um, specifically bred for their fiber. They uh, have no lanolin, so they're hypoallergenic. So those people who have sensitive skin, 
can wear alpaca on their sweaters, their gloves, and their scarves without it irritating their skin. Now Billy here, he's pretty smart. Again, he's eating his food really fast. He's also a ruminant animal and his eyes are on the side. Now he does have these cute little bangs. One of the things that he can do to protect himself is he's a really good ninja. Ready? Can you show him your ninja move? Yeah, there we go, good boy. Another thing that they can do to protect themselves is they can spit. And when they spit, they actually aim for your face. And it's not just saliva, it is stomach particles. It smells awful. But if you can't see him, he can run away. The good thing is you really have to upset an alpaca in order for them to spit at you and as well as they don't really necessarily like to spit at humans. They save that for each other. Now, unlike Jameson, he's got long legs, right? So do you think he's a good jumper? Let's check it out. Billy, can you jump? Good boy. Now, that's not very high. You can see that he has got those big long legs. I think you can jump a little higher, Billy, don't you? All right. Everybody at home, give him some encouragement. Billy, 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 good boy. All right. So we're going to say goodbye to Billy. Well, we have to have an animal here to protect our farm at night when no one's here. So this animal is sleeping and he protects our farm all night long, so he's sleeping during the day. Anybody guess what he might be? Yes, it is our famous Bingo. And I need everybody's help at home to wake him up and bring him out so you guys can see him. On the count of three, everybody yell, wake up Bingo. One, two, three, wake up Bingo. <gasps> Here he is, this is Bingo. He is our 11-year-old Black Labrador Retriever, and he is the one who protects our farm at night when we are uh, not here, right? You protect all of our animals, right? So can you give me a high five for doing such a great job? What about on this side? And over here? Good boy. So another thing that dogs do is they keep our farmers company. They protect our farm animals, but they also have jobs outside of the farm, right? We have seeing eye dogs, we have police dogs that help us um, as well. So Bingo here, he's gonna show you our very last animal of the day. And that is going to be, Bingo, can you tell everybody what time it is? The end. Thank you guys so much for visiting us today on our virtual animal show. We hope that we'll be able to see you here at the farm really soon. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Come on, Bingo.